Hello, I am Flash Isaac. Today, we shall be looking at introduction to biology. Biology is a very, very interesting and important subject. At such, it is very imperative for you to pay attention to the study and introduction to biology. In lower classes, there is a subject called integrated science. Integrated, it means combination or put sciences together. Integrated science is a subject or it's a science that combines biology, chemistry, and physics. As you go higher in your studies, you no longer study those science subjects together. You study them individually. In your study of chemistry, you will be told that chemistry is the study of the composition, properties, and uses of matter. In your study of physics, you will be told that physics is the study of matter in relation to energy. Now, what is biology? Let's look at biology etymologically. Etymology means the words, meaning of words from how they are formed, from their origin. Etymologically, biology is from two Greek words, bios and logos. Biology is from two Greek words, bios and logos. What is bios and what is logos? Bio means life. Logos means study. So, when we combine these words, it simply means biology is the study of life. That is biology for you. Biology is the study of life and living things, or the study of life in living things. In simple definition, you can say that biology is the study of living, living things. Now, what are living things? Living things are things that have life. This is one of the characteristics of living things. In fact, this is a character that combines other characteristics of living things. For a thing or for something to be classed as living, it needs to possess certain characteristics which we shall treat in the next class. Now, we are still in the introductory part of biology. Biology is the study of living things, is the study of life. Living things can be grouped into basically two, into plants and animals. If I say that animals are living things, you would wholeheartedly agree with me. However, by the time I say plants are living things, some persons will still get confused. Don't worry, in the next class, you will see the characters that make plants living things. Biology has several branches. Several branches. But the top three we shall be quickly looking at are botany, zoology, and microbiology. I shall display other branches on the screen for you to look at them. Botany. Simply this with the study 
of plans. And everything that has to do or all that concerns the study of plants. So if you are studying a branch of biology dedicated to plants, you say that you are studying botany. Zoology has to do with the study of animals. Animals. Look at it, zoo, logy. And we say that logy has to do with study. So zoo, animal. So study of animals. If I say John visited Ogba Zoo, or if I say I was at Ogba Zoo yesterday for excursion, you already know that animals are involved. Now, microbiology. This is the branch of biology that studies microorganisms. There are certain organisms we cannot see with the naked eye. By the time you view things, or you view environments, or you view areas, or you even view your hand through the microscope, you are going to see billions and billions of organisms, billions and billions of stuffs that are too small for you to see. So, these things are worth studying. As such, we say that no, we must dedicate a branch of biology to focus on these microorganisms. So, the top three branches of biology are botany, zoology, and microbiology. What is biology? Biology is the study of living things. In fact, to know more about your body, about your life, how your system works, the study of biology is so, so important. In chemistry, we look at what we call atoms. And we call atoms the unit of matter. The smallest particle of matter is atom. This is matter. This comprises billions and billions and billions of atoms. So when you break this down, the smallest particle gets or a chalk or a chalk, a, a blackboard chalk, when you break it down, that smallest particle that can exist is atom. Now, these atoms are so small and unstable that they cannot exist on their own. So they prefer to come together or to exist independently. So for them to exist independently, they need to be in the combined form. So atoms, two atoms can combine to form what we refer to as molecules. Which means, from atoms being the smallest, they will move to molecules. Similarly in biology, the unit of life is referred to as cell. Cell. This is the smallest form of life can exist. This is the building block of life, cell. Now, cells can combine group of cells coming together to perform specific function. We call them tissue. The group of tissues coming together to perform specific function or certain function, we call them organ. Then from organs, we move to systems. So from systems, you have the full organism because the full organism is made up of various systems, like in the body, systems that help you to the system that help you to breathe, respiratory system, the one that help you to bring new one to life, reproductive system, the one that help you to digest or absorb food, digestive system, the one that help you for coordination, nervous system, and so on. Ladies and gentlemen, this class is to introduce you to the study of biology. And the study of biology has been from the ancient days. Biology is from two Greek words, bios and logos. Bios means life, logos means study. So biology is the study of life. It is the study of living things. And the main branches are botany, zoology, and microbiology. Thanks for watching. You are one and only teacher from the future. I hope you found this class interesting. Feel free to check out the playlist 
for more amazing, amazing videos. And don't fail to install the Flash Learners application right now for notes, videos, and questions to meet all your needs. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any of my sweet videos. See you in the next episode. Don't forget to turn everything around about the Flash Learners. Bye.